All right, good morning, family. Day two. Day two of the Week and Run Challenge. It's kind of kind of chilly out here. 50 degrees. Got my long sleeve shirt on. It's chilly, but listen. I'm up. I'm alive. I can breathe. That's more than what some people can say today. Um, today for me, the hashtag is we can barbecue. We can feed the needy. I'm saying that in memory of David McAtee. Those who haven't heard yet, David McAtee was a chef in Louisville, Kentucky. 53 years old, by all rights, by all accounts. He was a pillar of the community. Uh, he would feed those in need for free. He would feed police officers for free. But uh, Monday night, Monday midnight, those same that same police force that he fed for free shot him, shot him dead. He's trying to get his niece out of the crowd when National Guard and the police force started opening, started to open fire on the crowds. And he got caught in the crossfire. Everybody who knew him said that that man did not deserve to end, to come out like to go out like that. Things need to change now. Some uh. <laughs> Chris Rock said in a stand-up and he said, you know, you have people out here who are trying to explain away police's actions when they kill an innocent civilian or they harass or anything like that. People try to say that, oh, that's just a few bad apples in the bunch. Chris Rock was like, yeah, that's a real nice description of a murderer. Just call him a bad apple. And he said, you know, some professions, you can't have bad apples. You can't, you can't have a bad day. You can't be bad at your job. For example, pilots. Pilots cannot be bad at their job. Pilots cannot have a bad day. You have a bad day, or you mess up, people die. Same thing, same thing with the police. If you have bad police officers, or police officers that need to not be police officers, things like this happen. Things need to change. It needs to change on their end. It needs to change on our end. I also saw another video where three black men, three generations of black men, a 45 year old, a 31 year old, and a, six, and a 16 year old were all talking. 45 year old is angry. He is upset. He has had enough. He has seen enough. He's had enough. He ready to he ready to scrap with any white face that he can see. The 31 year old, he's he's angry too. He's upset. He's every bit as much angry as uh, the 45 year old, but he is trying to be the voice of reason out there. He's tired of seeing people dying. He tired of he tired of people just blindly swinging and fighting and try to get into it with the police. 
he's trying to convince that 45 year old this ain't the way he feel he feels everything he feels everything that that 45 year old is feeling but he realizes this ain't the way because they're just gonna come with more force whenever you try to play the aggression game or the violence game there's always somebody that plays it better remember that then that 31 year old started talking to a 16 year old that 16 year old is angry too he's upset he's tired he ain't seen half of what the other two brothers have seen but he's seen enough to know he's tired and that 31 year old looked at that young man and he said brother your generation got to find a better way the way we've been doing it hasn't worked 45 year old he upset 31 year old upset at the same thing 16 year old upset at the same thing three generations of black men three generations and we're still out here dealing with the same problems Kareem Abu-Jabbar he's in his 70s he's He's, he's talking about the same things we're talking about now. He talked about the same things back in the day that we're talking about now. So something ain't working. The old ways of doing things are not working because the problems are still here. So one of the things that I believe we got to work on is we got to do a job better job at identifying who the problem is who the enemy is every law every every book on war warfare martial arts battle strategy preaches that the number one rule in warfare know who your enemy is it's not enough to just go out swinging you need to know. You need to know who who, the per, who who is who it is that's trying to take you out. I say that because uh, a lot of people they just upset at white people. They just want to get they just want to get into it with any white face they see. That's not the way. Because if you've been paying attention, there have been white brothers and sisters out there protesting with us. They may not feel everything we're feeling. They may not go through everything we've been going through. But they understand this is wrong. They understand human beings are being treated as less than human beings. And they understand somebody needs to say something. They understand can't just stand by and do nothing uh, two particular groups of uh, white people come to mind uh, friends of ours friends of our family the Crandalls and the Bells so the Crandalls are a um, long time friend of the family our, our family Jennifer Crandall has been a long time friend of my wife no, 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 no longer than I have and uh, she went online and she felt the need to say that you know uh, she has a lot that she wants to say but on, but she's not able to post on Facebook and say things because she's at a point right now where she's trying to build her career up. You know, she started a business. She started her own business a few years back, just like my wife did. And she's trying to establish herself. She's trying to get to a point where she has an infrastructure. She has a foundation where she can help you. And it's like, knowing Jen, knowing her heart, this is the matron of honor at our wedding. This is the godmother, 
her her husband, godfather, to our son, Amir. I consider her my sister-in-law because she's been nothing but a sister and a friend to my wife. So, you know, to hear her say something like that, and I'm like, Jen, you're the last person that has to explain yourself. You know, we know, we know, who, we know where your heart is at. We know where your mind is at. And uh, we know uh, you are not the enemy. Far from it. She's family, you know. Um, she's been there for my wife through a bunch of stuff. Still is to this day. So, most definitely, that's a friend. That's an ally. Uh, other family, I'm talking about the Bell family. Monica, Daniel, and Jack. Uh, Jack, their son, is best friend to my son has been since second grade there's a period in time when our son was going from school to school because we were trying to find a school where he just wouldn't get bullied we kept getting taking this school getting bullied went to another school getting bullied that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day but anyway so we take him to Annapolis Area Christian School. Jack is in there, and Jack is one of the first people, if not the first, to welcome our son with open arms. And to this day, they've been the best of friends. He has my son's back 110%. Monica and Dan, wonderful people. Big hearted, open, open hearted, wonderful people. I would hate for them to feel like they need to explain themselves in this whole thing because we know their heart. We know they're not the enemy. We're dead far from it. They are true and trusted friends. People, we have to take our anger and take it to the right place. I know I said that yesterday. I know you heard it. Hear it again. We need to take our anger and take our motivation and apply it to the appropriate place. Stop trying to swing at everybody. Stop trying to take your hate towards everybody because there are some people out here who are standing with us. There's people out there that don't look like us, but they are standing with us. Police even. There's police officers who recognize this ain't it. This is not the way things are supposed to be. So, this video <laughs> has been long enough, but I just want to say, anger can serve many purposes, but only when it's the servant. When anger becomes the master, that's when, that's when we're all in trouble. Either you control your emotions or your emotions control you. There's no middle ground. There's no third option. Either you're going to control your emotions or you're just going to let your emotions control you. When you in control your emotions, good things happen. When you let your emotions control you, look at the news and see what, and see what happens when you do that. That's all I got for today. Well, I got a lot more, but this video is too long as it is. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Stay safe. Use your head.